Five coming at you with another one of my reaction videos. I have with me the ginger here. Hello, everyone. And today we will be reacting to the death battle between Thor and Wonder Woman. Now, actually, this is a pretty close fight, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. You, I mean, one, I'm a bigger fan of Marvel than DC, as both of us are. But yeah. Wonder Woman is still, a, a, like, on God level of Thor. Oh, if yeah. not, maybe better. I... I don't I don't know much about Wonder Woman, but I just I know she has really good strength and durability. Yeah. And like I watched the movie, so I know a little bit. Oh, you do. Yeah, the movie was so good. All right. Well, I'm not quite sure who to say the who would win this fight right now. So we have to check it after the yeah. analysis. All right. So we're gonna start this video in three, two, one, go. The different pantheons of gods Holy and goddesses shit. have always been rife yeah, with conflict, and these heavenly wars can last immortal? for centuries. Yeah, immortal. Like with oh. Thor, Norse champion of Asgard and son Ooh. of Odin, and Wonder Woman, Greek warrior of the Amazons and daughter of Zeus. He wears an air boomstick, and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, oh, and skills to find out. Oh, it's it's win it's a three D fight. Battle. <laughs> Sweet. This is the Realm Eternal, root of the world tree and noblest of the nine dimensions, Asgard. Like a protector for your butt? <laughs> Asgard. Since ancient times, this colorful realm has been inhabited by warriors so powerful, many believe them to be immortal deities. And they sort of were, but being immortal in Asgard is a funny thing. See, every few thousand years, these fellas go through a little apocalyptic event Ragnarok. where everybody dies. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're born anew with only vague memories yeah, of their previous Ragnarok lives. Is. This is the cataclysmic event known as Ragnarok. And Asgard's newest king, the Allfather Odin, was determined to break this cycle. So hmm. he fathered the best damn warrior the realm <laughs> Not the you, dummy. <laughs> Thor That's spent great. most of his life living among his people and defending his realm from its enemies. And he was good at it. Like, really good. He's their tank and DPS all rolled into one <laughs> when it comes to raiding other realms. And boy, does he look the part. This guy is six feet six inches of pure muscle and possibly led because he's somehow <laughs> Named Tooth Nasher and Tooth Rider was once Thor transformed was into a frog. In Asgard and has proven okay, his metal across multiple worlds. He helped found the Avengers and has defeated everything from giants to demons to other gods. As a real life god, Thor is super strong, super fast, and super durable. And even on those rare Warriors madness. Get hurt, he patches up real quick mm. with his healing factor. And of course, being the god of thunder lets him control lightning and even the earth itself. But Thor isn't complete without his iconic arsenal. He <laughs> has a belt of strength, which doubles his already impressive might. And he swings around the most awesome tiny little hammer you've ever seen. Mjolnir is oh, an man. ancient weapon. 65 million years ago, it was forged by dwarves from by star. harnessing a star. Right, yeah, from its star. construction was so intense, it caused the star to explode, and its fiery remains eradicated the dinosaurs. Holy Talk shit! Metal. <laughs> Speaking of metal, Mjolnir is forged from Uru, an extremely durable iron-like ore that is highly susceptible to enchantment. Mjolnir mm. in particular is enchanted to house a cosmic storm powerful enough to shake black holes. And yes, Holy the wielders crap. of Mjolnir can access the storm's powers, including levitation and control over weather. Never wanted anything so bad in my life. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> only those the hammer deems worthy can actually wield. Oh man, that was a wicked scene. We couldn't pick up. Must be pure of heart and noble of mind. But or Cap could nudge it. Even budge. Yep, well, freaking Cap managed the budget. I love that movie too. To and with their powers combined, nothing can stop. Oh, <laughs> Thor has fucking love that. Tagged Quicksilver, who at his best can run around 670 million miles per hour, and Thor can move even faster than that when his hammer is dragging he has him around. Iron Man armor yeah, or something. 
Hmm. Nor does it really fly on his own in the same way people like Superman or Fucking Kane Superman 64. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that game is horrible. As hard as he can and hangs on for dear life as it takes him for a ride. So you know, he chucks the hammer as hard as he can and then hangs to onto it as it flies. Universe in 60 yeah. seconds. That's fucking nuts. This means it can travel at least 350 trillion miles per hour or over 500,000 times the speed of light. Don't let go, Goldilocks. Hit your aim at that speed might hurt even you. Yeah, he'd be fine. He can withstand a dip in the sun, where it can be over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And while he was knocked unconscious, he did survive a bomb hmm. capable of planet busting, equal to a force of over 53 quadrillion megatons Holy of TNT. Crap, that's yeah. like that that's like surviving Superman snake. level shit. Look at that thing. The Midgard Serpent is massive, capable of wrapping around the entire Ooh. Earth twice. It stretches nearly 900 miles wide and 50,000 miles long. Oh, By comparing it to the largest living snakes, the 550-pound green aconda, we can that is fucking terrifying. Weighs about 500 pounds snakes. That thing was wrapping around a horse. That's scary. That that's real. By squeezing prey, a snake can apply pressure Jeez. 16 times. KO'd the Phoenix so Force. Thor didn't just lift oh my really god, from X-Men. He outmatched Defeated Juggernaut and Silver Surfer. Tons of force. Uh, that is correct, Boomstick. Damn. God damn right it is. It is important to stress the unbelievable power Thor possesses. So much so that in fights with other godly beings, whole worlds can shatter. If it ever comes to it, he can even enter a state of warrior's madness. While he loses Ooh. some control doing this, his power increases tenfold. Ooh. Why did we put this guy up against <laughs> Raiden? I remember that. Oh, he de he destroyed Raiden. Has put him in all kinds of trouble. He's even lost Mjolnir's power more than once as a result. Oh, that's a new movie. Yeah, the hammer oh, is invulnerable, and if Thor is holding on to it, its enchantment can even be tricked. Like that one time, the Hulk used his own hammer against him by moving his arm. Why you hit yourself? Are you Thor serious? That really happened. That's that's Odin pathetic. Him to Earth, transforming him into a handicapped human. You call that a handicap? That's a limp. I'm over here with a freaking shotgun for a leg, and I'm not even allowed to park in those what? special parking spaces. <laughs> shotgun Still, for a leg. Turns out, sending Thor to Earth was all part of Odin's plan to alter the cycle of Ragnarok, as such a thing had never been done before, and it worked. Four thousand years after the previous Ragnarok. Armageddon was stopped for good, and the gods were free. All thanks Ooh. to Thor and a giant time-traveling floating sentient eyeball. What? But mostly Thor. Why the fuck stupid. not? <laughs> I accept your surrender. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking owned. <laughs> All right. Legend Wonder has it Woman. that lost among the waves sits a solitary island called Themyscira. Shrouded in secrecy uh. and inhabited solely by women. Hey, Wiz, oh guess god. what's my new number one vacation spot? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Despite their paradise isle far from civilization, Amazing. the women of Themyscira are more dangerous than you'd think. They are Amazon. Yeah, I have to see this movie. I just, created I never by the it. Olympian gods. Their mission? To spread the peace and justice of the gods to oh, a barbarian crap. world. And ship anything to you for free within two days. Oh, that's um. Yeah, pay an annual was it Jim Carrey's yeah, cable guy? Later, they yeah. were kind of out of the loop. That's funny. These chicks had never even heard of shotguns before. <laughs> Until the day a military plane crashed near the island. Determined to reconnect with the world and establish peace once again, the Amazons held a tournament to select a representative. The final test requiring each lady to block a bullet from just a couple yards away. Damn, oh, shit. you don't mess around. Oh. The winner was one of their youngest, a brave woman known Diana. simply as Diana. And that's how she became the Wonder Woman. Due to her warrior heritage, Wonder Woman was trained from a very young age and just about ran for every president twice. That you can imagine. Because <laughs> what else is she gonna do on that island? She's a master with swords, axes, spears, bows, shields, yeah, hell, and pretty much anything that isn't a gun. Her Amazon physiology grants her super strength, super speed, heightened wisdom, and the ability to heal from most wounds almost instantly. And she can fly, just like Superman. How else do you think she'd get around? An invisible jet? Fucking invisible That's jet. Stupid. How do Dear you God. Where you parked it? Uh. To further improve her deadliness, she carries a rather unique arsenal. Among Doomsday. which are her iconic bracelets of submission. Ah, 
That sounds like some weird BDSM shit. Come on. Well, they kind of were, but the universe has been reset more than enough times to change all that. Thank God. Right. <laughs> anyway, okay, then. Those you got the New 52. For defense. Forged by the smith god Hephaestus using the remains of Zeus's legendary Aegis shield, Ooh. the bracelets are impervious to nearly anything, including gunfire, demon lightning, and Kryptonian heat vision, which can be hotter oh than god, the sun. Oh god, stop heat vision? They can summon Zeus's lightning, or even the indestructible Aegis they were made from. To oh. avoid collateral damage, the bracelets also suppress some of Diana's strength. Taking them off vastly increases her godly power. Oh, well, then she can use them to summon weapons like her magic sword. Whoa, also forged what? by Hephaestus, this sword's edge is so sharp that it can slice through microscopic atoms. This means a precision strike from Wonder Woman can cut through nearly any material. Man, this is Mesto's god makes some top-notch stuff. I wonder if he does commissions. Well, he's not <laughs> responsible for Diana's final weapon, the Lasso of, the Truth. Lasso of Truth. I remember that from the original show. Whip has the power to make anybody it touches tell the truth. Bad news for any cheating boyfriends she might have. <laughs> oh my what god. What depraved thoughts must you be thinking? God, your daughter's got a nice rack. Amazing. Awesome combat skills. According to Batman, Diana is the greatest melee fighter in the world, which mm. is no small feat in a universe with people like Karate Kid, oh, Black Manta. and Batman himself. Did you say the Karate Kid? Man, Daniel <laughs> Sun. The, <laughs> the point is, Wonder Woman is a master martial artist who's trained all her life. And while she has no official birth date, we do know she was born during the age of the Roman Empire, specifically when they employed centurions. Including the additional time she spent fighting in Valhalla before going back in time, this means oh, Wonder fuck. Woman must be about 3,000 years old. All things considered, she looks pretty damn good for her age. And that's more than enough time to become a master ass kicker. It also <laughs> helps that she's pretty darn quick. She's kept pace with Superman and defeated the speedster Professor Zoom. Ooh, Isn't that Reverse At Flash? Point, Wonder Woman yeah. was battling an so his name is actually God Zoom? Fragmented himself into True, trillions yeah. of pieces. Okay. Each spread to different corners of the universe. Whoa. Yeah. And while he summoned his pieces back at faster than light speed, Wonder Woman was able to stand in his way and block all of them. That's insane! Whoa. I mean, she's moving so fast, there's like a bunch of her. Moving thousands of times the speed of light can do that. In uh -uh. fact, she's moving so fast, she's probably breaking all manners of quantum physics. She's also ridiculously strong. She punched Doomsday into literal dust and helped <laughs> pull the Earth around. The force needed to move an object out of the sun's orbit equals around one thousandth of the object's oh mass, God. including the Earth itself. Assuming Wonder Woman was pulling her fair share, this means she can lift 2.2 quintillion tons. I don't think she was, though, because Superman would pull that most of the time if you call from Goku Superman. Six. I don't see him yeah. lifting a third of the Earth. She's also incredible. Withstood multiple Nuclear infinite mass punches. That's from Superman. Oh, yeah. yeah. She punched a warhead that's and the, tanked it point blank. Black. And then one day, Superman, oh. who can see atoms, decided to split one to test her magic sword. Surprise, surprise, it literally blew up in their faces. <laughs> Waggy antics. Even more <laughs> impressive was her fight with Zoom, in which she took several light speed punches, which, according to her fellow Justice League member, The Flash, hit like a white dwarf star. That would equal Damn. two billion oh megatons of force. God. Unfortunately, Wendy's not invincible. She's got her own kryptonite, and it's a lot more common than radioactive alien rocks. Her durability holds up well against almost everything, except for piercing weapons. Which oh. just seems like an unacceptable weakness when you're that strong. Knives, swords, spears, any kind of blade will do the trick. But especially bullets, which is probably why she's gotten so good at blocking them with those bracelets. Unfortunately for swordsmen and sharpshooters, Diana doesn't go down easily. In fact, a good stabbing is more than likely <laughs> just gonna piss her off. And that's when you learn just how dangerous Wonder Woman can really be. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is- that is ancient! All right, the combatants are set. Let's end okay. this debate once and so for all. So I'm gonna have to say it for this one. I think Wonder Woman's gonna win this fight because yeah, she's got way more weapons. While Thor only has Mjolnir and Lightning. Wonder Woman has Lightning, by the way. Uh, yeah. Wonder Woman has her bracelets, which generally block almost any kind of attack. They can summon new weapons. She's got... I, mean, I don't see how the Lasso of Truth will really help in, against her fight with Thor, but regardless... She and Thor doesn't have bullets or any stabbing weapons. That oh, yeah. is that's her weakness. So 
Although Thor's durability and defense, I think, is stronger. I think she's going to be taken because she can also pierce, like, she can split the atoms between all Yeah, her sword can split so, atoms. I, I don't know if that will cut Mjolnir per se, but I mean... No, he would cut all of his, uh, all of his armor off that gives him his powers. Oh, that's true. That, that could work. I'm going to say and Mjolnir also, is near to instruct, indestructible. She might, she might use uh, Mjolnir because... Uh, Mjolnir. She's wor yeah, because she's worthy enough because she's a... Uh, She's like one of the gods. Uh, the I don't think that would matter so much unless, she, I mean, it's not like you can easily steal the weapon from Thor. So, yeah. but anyways, I, I gotta go with Wonder Woman. So I think Wonder Woman's gonna own yeah, this fight. I think she's gonna be more durable and she has more weapons. Yeah, she's gonna destroy Thor. All right, here we go. And she doesn't have any rage. That's true. No, no yes, she does. If she removes the bracelets, she okay. gets her super power. And Thor also has Warrior's Mana, so they both have Berserker modes. Oh, it's like the first movie. <laughs> All right. Oh, the Aegis shield. Uh oh. You, no man can enter the Mascara unannounced. Stand down, wayward maiden. This sort of thing never turns out well for women like yourself. Oh my God. Oh. oh. I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. Doesn't Thor have a friend up in Asgard that's like a finding woman too? Kind of. Whatever her name is. I don't know. Alright. Well, damn. Oh, Jesus Christ! Just shattered that shield! Incredible. Whoa. Oh, boy. Come on. Oh. oh! Oh yeah, yeah. I think that only just holds back. Oh! Oh! Oh, here he comes! Mighty Tornado! From Morbus Capcom! That's awesome! Oh boy. Oh, God. Oh, oh, here he goes! Ooh. Two swords. Whoa! It's a freaking seizure, dude. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! oh. Reckless abandon. Oh, it's coming back! Oh. Oh. Feel Mighty punish! Oh, going oh my gosh, he crashed her into the moon! Holy crap! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh boy! Oh my god! He blew up the fucking moon! Oh god! There she comes. <laughs> oh. oh boy. Oh. 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 Warrior's madness. Excuse me. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh! They'll break the bracelets! Oh shit! Uh oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! Holy mother of god! That was insane! Through the fucking mouth! Oh my and god! The women matched each other in some surprising ways. Their weapons were enchanted, their years of experience were similar, and even their super modes were oh almost man. the same sort of thing. But Lady Wonder had a couple big things going for her, like her speed. Sure, Thor's fast enough to tag Quicksilver, and his travel speed with Mjolnir is just stupid fast. But Wonder Woman's shown that she's even more stupid fast in combat <laughs> over and over again. Such as when she blocked yeah, trillions of god did that one. flying at her from the edges of the universe. <laughs> most likely faster than any speed Mjolnir was capable of. 
She was even able to catch Zoom in her lasso, despite how he wasn't just running ahead of her in physical space, but he was also ahead of in her in fucking time. time. Oh Nogan my! Around that one. Doris durability Jesus. was greater than Wonder Woman's, but the difference in strength was a different story. That's what I said. I thought durability was stronger, but Wonder Woman she is stronger. Eight thousand times stronger than him. Oh but crap! The final nail in Thor's coffin was their choice of weaponry. Mjolnir may have been tough for Diana to defend against, but it couldn't exploit her weakness to piercing weapons. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Diana's magic sword could slice at a microscopic level. Something Thor couldn't possibly be prepared to defend against. You can have skin so tough that you can take a bath in the sun no problem, but it won't do a damn thing to a blade that can literally sever your atoms. Ultimately, <laughs> while many of their talents were evenly matched, Diana's speed, strength, and weaponry proved too much for Thor Odinson. Yep, oh, he man. was done, Thor. Done. Oh, oh God, no! I'll never get over that kill. That's that's been one of the most brutal kills since Raiden ride and kill Wolverine. That was deadly. Alright, who we got? Ichigo versus Naruto. Okay, I never seen Bleach, but I did watch the original Naruto growing up. So that is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. That's going to be a pretty cool fight, but holy crap. Wonder Woman destroyed Thor. <laughs> Utter fucking massacred. Alright, well, that's about all the time we got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to leave a comment for those stretch of black in the future. And I will see you guys next time. Laters! Later.